In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your website, sales funnels, and membership sites set up inside the Builderall platform. Hey there, my awesome fellow entrepreneurs. Welcome back to this training series. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your website, membership area, and sales funnel inside the Builderall platform. Yesterday we went through to how setting up your account and your domains and basically laying the framework for what the next few days is going to be about. So Builderall's got loads and loads of templates that you can use from opt-in funnels to full-blown marketing campaigns and there's going to be something in there that you can use. I'm going to be using the membership site and sales funnel as an example. It may not fit well with what you want to do but the same basic principles apply when editing your own templates for your own business so going to jump into the website that we started building yesterday and this is the main membership area which we're going to restrict access to so people aren't going to be able to get access to this without paying or without signing up we're going to set it up so they have to pay to get access so a restricted area is basically a layout so we've got one layout here at the moment, and this is the main membership area. So I'm going to add a layout. I'm going to add a sales page for the membership area. So I'm going to go into landing page and then sales page. And I'm going to choose one of these pages here. I think this one looks good. And we'll name that layout sales page. So this is going to be the main page that people land on when they want to purchase the membership area. So the second page is going to be one that we create here, which is going to have the checkout on it. And as you can see, Builderall also gives you the legal pages as well. So you've got your disclaimer privacy policy in terms of website use already in the website itself. You just need to make some edits and changes depending on your business. So I'm going to add a page here. Come into sales. And add a checkout page. This one here looks good. Order form. So now we've got the order form. The center that. So now we've got the order form we're going to be able to add a upsell page and a downsell page so come back into the layout add a page and we're going to add where is it an upsell page upsell one and adjust the menu slightly and now I'm going to duplicate it for the downsell. So now I'm going to rename them so we know what they are. So downsell. Upsell. And order form. So we're going to want a thank you page as well. So I'm going to add a thank you page. There we go. So now I'm going to make the other layout restricted. So we come into the other layout, click the little padlock here and give it a name. Uh, set an initial page, which is the this initial page that we're set on here. grant access via email and password and we're going to want to do that by manual payment so it's going to be unlocked once someone makes a payment through the checkout and we're going to want to add them to a mailing boss list so we can send out notifications uh, failed payments or something like that so click the tick click next and I'm going to create the checkout myself a little bit later so I'm going to click do nothing now create it later and save now that's completely restricted now no one can get access to it unless they've paid so I'm going to come back to oh, not that one I'm going to come back to the other layout 
and I'm going to make the sales page the home page. So whenever someone comes to this URL, it's going to come to this home page. So when someone lands on this page, they're going to be able to read all about your product, all about your uh, membership area. And these buttons here are going to want to go through to the order form. So I'm going to the page and click in order form, click OK. And to this one as well, page, order form, OK. So now the order form has got the checkout. I personally prefer the one-step checkout, so I'm going to change this. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to add the one-step checkout, shrink it down, change it to the big so it doesn't look so squished. And put it down a little bit so there's a bit of space to play with. Make it look a bit neat. And there we go. So there's the checkout looking a bit better. So first off, I'm going to add a payment method. You need to do this before you do anything. So there's an example PayPal in there. I'm just going to leave that there and use that for now. But this is where you can add your PayPal or Stripe or whatever you want to use. And then I come back into the checkout, change offer. And this is where I can put all my details of my offer, some images if I want, and set the thank you page. So the thank you page is going to be the upsell the first upsell so when someone makes an offer it's going to put them to the upsell which is going to make them a second offer and this is how you set it up so you can have one click upsells and one click down sales so the thank you page needs to be the upsell and now you can put in your item how much it costs description and we're going to have the members area so it's this is going to unlock the members area and that's one thing i forgot to do i forgot to save that's one thing you need to keep saving so things show up. Um, if you don't save, it's not going to show the new layouts, um, the membership uh, that I just set up. So you're not going to be able to see it if you don't save. So now I've saved, you'll be able to come back in to here and see the membership area. So set that to upsell again. Next, item name members area and there we have it there's the members area area we made restricted and there we go now this is set up to give them access to the members area when they pay that ten dollars so we click save it's going to redirect them to the upsell page when they make a payment on this page here so now we need to set up the sales funnel so to set up the sales funnel we come into the checkout app here click sales funnel and it's going to give you the offers for the sales funnel obviously there's nothing there yet we haven't set it up so we're going to have sales funnel one uh, the thank you page is going to be the thank you the final thank you page after everything's said and done select your payment method the currency of your payment and click next and now you're going to be selecting the item so with upsell one is going to be the upsell page and it's going to say cost ten dollars and it's going to be an extra guide for setting up your membership area something like that so number two is going to be down sell and we'll make that five dollars and that's going to be the down sell page and you can always make membership recurring membership you can do physical products you can do all sorts of products here so now the two other products are set up we click next confirm and that's going to be upsell one and we click that to expand 
that's going to be the thank you page and that's going to be down sell and then we expand again and set that to thank you and thank you obviously if you have multiple upsells that's going to be upsell too and then you're going to have down sell upsell thank you pages up here and it can get really big if you've got lots and lots of items and lots of upsells and lots of down sells but i wouldn't recommend making more than two upsells two down sells because people get sick of it so once that's done you click save down here and your sales funnels ready to go so now i'm going to come back over to the upsell page and get rid of this button because they're not the actual sales funnel buttons then come into add element sales funnels click there sales funnel one and that actually won't let you put the wrong buttons on the other, wrong page so if i click there you can see it doesn't let me add it so i'm going to click yes and no and move them to where they should be and the same thing on the downsell page So there we go. You've now got a fully functional sales funnel with a membership area, an upsell and a downsell, which will redirect your customers to each step in the funnel and allow them to one click upgrade. You need to make sure that you make it very clear that they're going to get charged if they click. It's going to add it to their order. As you're editing, make sure you edit the mobile version as well. The templates themselves are set up uh, already mobile optimized, but if you add anything or delete anything you're going to need to place them where they need to go once you're done you can hit that save button publish and you're ready to go you've got a ready to go fully functional sales funnel hope you found this video useful guys if you have any questions drop your question in the comments below don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video